Do you want a zero tick farm that will do bamboo and cactus as high as you want but you can still control it from the ground and collect your resources on the ground so as you can either use them for whatever it is you want to build with them or perhaps make an XP bank without any mobs? I'm going to show you how. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to another video from me, Amamance, in my farm tutorial series. Now today, we are going to do something that, strictly speaking, is a bit of an exploit on the game. It's not entirely meant to work the way it does, but it does, so please be aware, there could, at any point, be a patch that will break this farm. So don't please shout in the comments, this farm don't work once the patch has been put on. But we're going to do it anyway because about 100 bazillion of you have asked me to do it. We are going to do a zero tick farm and then we're going to talk about what you can use them for. Now the way this farm works is really dead, dead simple, but I'm not going to get too close to it because it is proper loud, which is why you build it all the way up in the air. You wobble some sand across underneath a block of either cactus or bamboo. And what that does is it it's an exploit. It's not kind of meant to do it, but it rapidly speeds up the growth of that bamboo and that cactus, which allows you to get more cactus than you would or more bamboo than you would in a traditional farm. That then drops it into a hopper collection system. It dispenses the stuff to however far or down or deep below you want it to go. And it is caught in a hopper right at the bottom, ready for storage or maybe even put it into an XP bank. Really quite simple. For each module of this farm, you will need three chests, three hoppers, one dropper, two redstone torches, one observer, two sticky pistons, five pistons, one lever, six redstone dust, 76 glass, 21 oak planks or any other wood, two sand, two redstone repeaters, one redstone comparator, a few torches, four is probably enough, and one cactus or two bamboo. And if you want to use the on off system from the floor, you need another 16 oak planks, 14 redstone torches, and another redstone repeater. You also want 18 scaffolding. And if you're going to use the water descent method that I use, one bucket of water. First thing I want you to do is create this little elevated platform. The cow is indeed optional, but this gets the whole thing a couple of blocks off the floor. So if you want to do some kind of XP bank at a later date, you absolutely can. But then get yourself a double chest and a hopper pointing into that double chest, just the one hopper, and then come to the side of the hopper. Remember what part of the hopper you are on and put a scaffold right next to it. You can see that scaffold is just there on that diagonal. And then I want you to add 18 blocks to this scaffold. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So you can see it goes all the way up there. Climb up to the top of your scaffold as high as it will go. And then with a glass block in your hand, I want you to place a glass block on top of the scaffold. And the best way to do that is by jumping and clicking like that. And because you know that you are on that corner, I want you to create a three by three around what would be that hopper like this. There you go. So that's just one three by three ring. And then what I want you to do is I want you to put another six on. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then on top of that, I want you to put an oak plank or any other wood plank or even stone if you wish on top of that and create another ring with that other block. I'll be back when that's complete. Now, when you get to this stage here, so you've got an almost completed ring and the glass rings are kind of, this one's almost completed and that one's got one missing as well. I want you to bring up another block there and put an L shape, upside down L shape. Get into your little groove here, get your dropper and have a dropper facing downwards into that hole. And then you can complete the hole as much as you want like that and get rid of those temporary blocks. So you've got a downward facing dropper facing down into the hole and then come out two further and then another one further on this side as well. Like that, get a redstone comparator, pop a redstone comparator there, put that into a block, get a redstone repeater come out of that block there, 
put a redstone repeater into the dropper like that and then get make a T of redstone dust exactly like that and then switch this comparator here into subtract mode just by right clicking on it then just light up this so as it's not spawnable by any mob because there are spawnable blocks right here and they are going to spawn if you let them pop a torch on each corner that's absolutely fine and now this is utterly non-spawnable now what happened is when something goes into this dropper this comparator will detect that there's something in it will shoot a signal into the block that will get sucked out by this comparator which will cycle that signal back into the dropper to activate it but it will also cycle a signal into the side of this comparator and as a result that will create a loop that turns the comparator off and then on and then off and then on and off and on and that will slowly pulse out all of the items that sit inside of this dropper. So now we have to construct the actual farm element itself and the first thing you need to do is put something that will feed the blocks into this dropper. So crouch and put a hopper on top of that dropper and then put a chest on top of the hopper. This will act as an overflow protection because you have only a very limited amount of volume in a hopper here but you've got plenty of room in the chest so you should never have any overflow problems and then on top of the chest or into the side of the chest it doesn't really matter pop another hopper and that will be what feeds into that hopper there now you can use this block here that you're stood on as your platform for blocking up because this is where you need to start building in your farm now on this little bit of redstone dust poking into the repeater there stick two blocks so there is a wooden block there level with that hopper and then create kind of a ring around that hopper system like that and next to that um, chest and then what we're going to do there is we're going to get some glass and we're going to pop glass on there 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 and there so should we ever need to open this chest although we never should we can still open it that shouldn't be a problem now on top of this piece of wood here stick yourself a bit of sand put a redstone torch on one side and a redstone torch on the other side and then on this side we need to get more of the wood now this could be stone if you'd rather it really doesn't matter as long as it is a redstone conductive block and we're making a bit of a kind of a V shape here you can get rid of that bit in the middle there and then we're making another kind of up and down get rid of that up and down and get rid of that and then come down on here and on the back of this pop a lever and flick the lever to on which will turn as a result of charging this block creating a knock gate to put those redstone torches off then either side really doesn't matter pick whether your left or your right is your favorite and put a sand on top of the redstone torch very simple so now we've got to get quite pistony come to this side and get a sticky piston it must be a sticky piston to face into that sand block there and crouch and just on the edge because you'll be able to get that sticky piston facing inwards there as well then get a normal piston and face a normal piston facing over the sticky piston on that side and the same on that side we are going to do it underneath as well in just a moment put a redstone dot there and a redstone dot there then what we need to do is that we need to get an observer facing into that redstone dot so the little redstone bum is facing upwards and we do that literally just by pointing the observer onto it and jump there we go little redstone bum facing perfectly upwards like that we are nearly done here we are going to put a block on top of the observer that little redstone bum there when it sees that redstone underneath it change color like flash it's going to let out a redstone fart and that redstone fart is going to power this block here on top of that block right next to the block that's going to be powered we're going to put a piston and because that block gets powered that will shoot that piston out which will break the bamboo that we're going to place right there then this could also be cactus when it gets in front of that it will push it out what's quite important is that the bamboo is not that kind of first sapling stage it doesn't work so pop another bit on top break the first bit and you are ready to roll we now have to just put a few extra little bits in and that is a way of guarding around this particular hopper so come around with another row a glass block there 
a glass block there and then come up with one more row that's now too high now that is normally high enough but if you wish you can get away from any extra little glitching that you could end up with little bits of bamboo on top of the glass put a third layer on and that works beautifully you can then put a glass block on top of that piston that in completely encases that bamboo and you shouldn't have any problems with any bamboo bits escaping just a couple of things left to do now pop yourself down onto this piston you don't need to come back up here again and then get yourself a wooden block pop a wooden block just there drop down onto it and then put a wooden block there which will allow you to drop onto that get rid of that wooden block you do not want that wooden block there it will just get in the way and then get yourself a piston put a piston facing outwards underneath that sticky piston and then along this side get another piston exactly the same place facing out underneath that piston and what that's going to do is that's going to fire both of those pistons in case in that piston making it powered because it will bud power it as a result of the pistons shooting out that will shoot out the sticky pistons and wobble that sand backwards and forwards like bilio and when it does what's going to happen is it's going to unnaturally accelerate the growth rate of that bamboo the bamboo is just going to decide to grow every time the sand wobbles underneath it it's a really bizarre thing and as i said earlier on this may get patched so do be prepared I'm about to demonstrate why we've done this so high above your base. This thing is loud. So let's just flick on the switch. There you go. You can hear it is really, really loud, but you will see bamboo flying out at a rate of knots there. Can you see that? It's just popping out like absolute mad. And that's going into that hopper, which is going into the chest, which is going into that hopper, which is going into the dispenser, which is shooting out and going down to your base down there and we're going to go and check that in just a minute i'm just going to turn this off because it is loud there we go that is perfect and now just continue to spit stuff out until it is completely empty now before you go get rid of that block it serves absolutely no purpose so you may as well keep it and then you can turn this fella on now we'll talk about a way you can turn this thing on and off from at the bottom in just a moment but i'm going to flick it on now and on this block at the side where we left our block if you weren't sensible enough to give yourself a scaffold tower all the way to the top you can pop a water bucket just there that will allow you to climb your way down on the water get ready the water bucket to collect it as you go collect your water and then allow yourself to go down that water column all the way to the bottom the water will then eventually if you can get out eventually will cease being at the as a tower and it will be completely gone and you won't have a worry about it just remember don't do this if you're above some of your redstone circuits now this fella has been going for about a minute you can see the water still hasn't got uh, gone yet so you can see how long it's actually gone and in here we have got what two and a half stacks of bamboo in that time it is an insane rate all of those bamboos do fall onto the hopper very very rarely i'm talking about one bit of bamboo in five six seven stacks maybe it'll glitch past the side of the hopper but most of them land exactly on that one hopper if you wish you could put more hoppers around the outside but frankly i think that is a waste of iron let's talk about how we can turn this on and off from downstairs and i have to be honest i am a great fan of the redstone torch tower there are a number of different ways that you can make this turn on and off at a distance observers and um, redstone lines going up uh, things like slabs but i like a redstone torch tower yes you get a very slight delay because there's a one tick delay on every step but it works what can i tell you and all we've got is literally a block a redstone torch a block a redstone torch a block a redstone torch all the way up the redstone torch that is on powers the block which means that redstone torch is off, which means that block is not powered, which means that redstone torch is on, and so on and so forth, right up to the top. And we have come out two blocks from where the lever was. The lever was just on that block there. We've put a repeater pushing into that lever, and that redstone is now on as a result of that torch being on. However, we can reverse that system. Flick the lever, that redstone torch comes on, and everything reverses and this fella is now going and going and going and going it will keep going for as long as you want 
And if you think you've got enough, or you just want to stop it, or it's causing some lag on a server or something like that, and you want to walk away, flip it off. It is dead simple. Now, if you wanted to, you could duplicate exactly the same system, but put a cactus on it instead. You need to make some very slight changes in that you can't have your um, glass block there, you can't have your wooden block there, and you can't have your glass block there because you won't be able to place the cactus. It doesn't like growing next to things, but you can have everything else exactly the same. And what that will do will give you the necessary setup to be able to start thinking about making a XP bank with no mobs using a furnace smelting system. So the last thing you've got to do is get rid of your scaffold. You do not need that anymore. That all comes flying down, thank you very much. And you've got a very neat platform. Now underneath here, should you wish to, that is where you could make your XP bank, which is a very interesting idea. If you'd like me to do an XP bank on this, do let me know in the comments below and I'll add an XP bank onto this already built system. Also, I'm going to put a world download for this system in the description below. So please do feel free to come and have a nick of that. It is for Java, but I am sure you will like it. Let's get this fella turned on and that can produce us some lovely bamboo and cactus. Excellent. So there you have a really simple zero tick farm that can duplicate up to do bamboo and cactus right next to each other, all controlled with a single lever on the ground level for an off and on. Not so many hoppers there, you've only got a couple at the top and a couple at the bottom and that is all you need to be able to collect loads, and I do mean loads, of cactus and bamboo. Serious volumes coming out of this fella. Now, I'm not the original designer of the concept behind the zero tick. I'm not entirely sure who is the original designer of the concept behind the zero tick. It is probably Il Mango. I'm not entirely certain. So shout out to Il Mango if indeed it is him. But whoever it was, congratulations. It's an absolute genius idea. If you would like me to do a XP bank version using this zero tick farm, based on this particular setup, do let me know in the comments below and I will get one of those done for you as well. I'll use everything from this point and just build it on underneath. It'll be a really easy one for you to have. I have put a world download in the description below so you will be able to come and have a little mooch around this and see what you think of it. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying it and I will keep on making them. And also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.